Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. I have another video for Shimmers Paints. Remember if you place any orders on the Shimmers website, make sure to mention my name in the comment section and you will receive a free product. So uh, for my layout today, I began with four pictures of my niece. They are square photos. I did create a collage on my phone on um, an app I have. I think it's called Pick Stitch, if I'm not mistaken. And I created a collage of four photos. I did make, it, uh, make the photos black and white. And I printed them off um, from my uh, home printer. So I'm going to go ahead and use this stencil. This is a stencil from the Crafters Workshop. And I'm just going to use the arrows pointing to the pictures. So I'm going to lay the pictures just like that, um, as you can see there. And I'm going to have the arrows pointing to the pictures. I'm going to use two colors in the Dazzlers, which are the shimmering texture paste. I'm going to use this light pink, which is called Tutti Frutti. And then the other color I use is called Coral Me Crazy. I love these uh, Shimmers products. They're so, so amazing. They're these really smooth, creamy, uh, dimensional pastes. And you can put them through stencils. And they're just a lot of fun to work with. So I'm going to use this paper. And I'm going to fussy cut out some flowers. And this paper is from Photo Play. It's from the Family Ties collection. And it's called Floral. And I really was inspired by this paper and the colors in it. That's kind of what... Uh, started off my um, layout so I fussy cut some of the flowers now for some reason I wanted to bring purple into this mix here <laughs> I wanted to just bring in another color and I wanted to bring in a pretty purple color so I'm going to use this uh, purple right here and I'm going to create a little L shape um, and a backwards L I guess in some of them um, just to kind of uh, shade into areas around the photo and I'm going to use this Creamies, and it's called Sky's the Limit, and I love this color. It's like the prettiest periwinkle blue purplish color. <laughs> it's just so pretty. So I'm going to use it, and I'm going to create a little L, kind of where my photos are going to lay. So um, I do that, and it just creates a little bit of shading and adds a little bit of color in those areas. And I had marked off with a pencil where the pictures were going to lay so that I could color just slightly outside of that line. I did do some splatters with the same color, that's the Sky's the Limit, and the Sky's the Limit is a part of the Gracie collection of creamies, and they're shimmering uh, watercolors, so they're super, super pretty. So there they are. Now I did want to add something else to the photo, so I'm right now I stepped away from the camera, or from my desk, and I'm looking through my 6x6 paper pads. So I found um, one from American Crafts, and it's called Dots and Stripes. And it just has a bunch of dots and stripes, <laughs> or dotted and striped papers. And I took pink one and a navy one. And I'm just going to alternate one pink, one blue, one pink, one blue. And I'm going to go ahead and add that behind the photo. Now I'm not going to add it around the whole photo. I'm just going to add it around that same L area that I uh, used the watercolor on. So once I had that down, I started placing everything. I pulled out these doilies. These are from Doodlebug. And they're a pretty purple shade. It's not the exact shade of the watercolor, but it's pretty similar. And it's a purple, and I really wanted to bring in some purple. So I'm just scattering around my little flowers that I fussy cut. And this is pretty much where they're going to lay. And then I'm going to start adding in those doilies. And I'm just going to add halves of the doilies to bring in the purple. Again, I just wanted to bring in another color. And I thought purple was a nice addition. <laughs> I like that purple is kind of coming back now. Purple wasn't really used all that often but I like that it's coming back and then the border of that paper where I fussy cut the flowers the back of it which is that pretty orange pattern I'm going to use that around my photo and I'm actually going to end up uh, using um, kind of a thicker border around the top and the left and then a thinner border around the right and the bottom so there I go placing my doilies behind my little floral clusters and behind two of my pictures the bottom doily I'm actually going to move and you're going to see that in just a minute. But yeah, I'm just getting those doilies placed down. Made a little cluster there on the left hand side. Just using a doily and a little cluster of flowers. I will pop up that little cluster of flowers and then my pictures are all popped up on foam as well. So for my title I pulled out these Amy Tan word thickers and these are craft colored. So I'm going to use this word lucky. And I'm going to go ahead and use some of those little hearts as well. And then I wanted to add something else to the title. So I'm just going to title it Lucky Girl. 
And then I'm going to use some other Amy Tangerine craft thickers. Now I am going to paint the thickers, <laughs> um, but I'm looking for them right now and I will be back in just a second. There I am. <laughs> so I decided I want to use these craft thickers, but I want to paint them. So I was going to start painting them and you will see that I pull out my uh, little pink color there. And then I realized two things. One, that I had to get ready for work <laughs> because this was the morning after. And two, I need to add gesso to this before I can paint it. So <laughs> I will go ahead and add gesso to it. So I did come back to it. I cut off the branding strip as you can see because it was bugging me. And I'm gonna go ahead and add gesso to all of these craft um, pieces here. And these are all chipboard pieces. So I am going to add gesso and I just do it with my finger and it just goes on very smoothly. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and you'll see what I'm gonna do um, since some of the gesso gets um, kind of caught in the little areas where there's uh, loops in the words um, or little crevices, gesso tends to get stuck in there. So I'm just gonna take a brush and just kind of wipe in those areas to get that gesso out of there just so I don't have any blobs of gesso anywhere. <laughs> so I do that and that's what I'm doing right now. Just kind of cleaning off the edges where the gesso will kind of um, accumulate. So as soon as I do that, I am ready to paint these because the gesso dries very, very quickly. So I decided to paint the Lucky in a green color to match the leaves of the flowers. So I, first I thought I might use this one. This is one of the original Shimmers paints in the color Key Lime, but I don't end up using that one. It was just too strong of a green, and it's beautiful, but it just wasn't the right shade of green. So I go with this color, which is a softer green, and this is um, Inklings, and it is called Honey Dew List. So I'm going to use that one, and that one is a shimmery watercolor as well. So it uh, just adds some really nice shimmer to the, to the lucky word. So I also pulled out the blue purplish color, um, which is called Sky's the Limit, and I'm gonna go ahead and use some more of that as well. So I did add water. These watercolors in the little jars, they come dry, except for the original Shimmers paints, all the other ones come dry. So you have to add water to them and activate them. So that's what I did to the blue uh, paint there. I added some water to reactivate it, and I'm gonna come back to it in just a second. So once I have my pink, um, I'm sorry, my green, Lucky, done i decided to do a two-tone on the girl or the word girl and the hearts and i'm just adding the purple color at the bottom again it's called sky's the limit and then on the top i'm adding another creamies in cheeky pink and i love the way that that turned out so i'm also going to add some splatters in the green color which again is the honey do list and that is going to be it so i hope you guys enjoyed this if you have any questions let me know I will have a link below to my blog post so you can check out all the products I've used. If you have any questions at all, let me know at the bottom in the comments. And remember, if you do place any orders on the Shimmers website, make sure you mention my name in the comments section and you will receive a free product. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for stopping by today. Bye!